hello everyone my name is gaurav and uh, i'm doing a short video of uh, uh, how to apply k mean clustering algorithm on uh, any data uh, for uh, this video purpose we i'll be using uh, iris data it is a standard data i'll just show you what the iris data is i will just uh, this time iris data Iris is basically a flower, and it has three main. Uh, you can say, uh, you can see here it's a multivariate data. And um, so there are three species of virus: Sedosa, Virginica, and Versicolor. And for each species, there are fifty readings. You can see fifty readings for Sedosa, uh, then we have Versicolor, and then we have Virginica. So when we feed this data into our algorithm, we will see how good. Of a clustering as I want them to, so you can see here we do have key mean clustering. So we will try to obtain uh, some this kind of uh, graph. Now uh, let's get going. And for this video purposes, I'll be using Jupyter notebooks. This is a Jupyter notebook. Let me show you this. I'll be using Python. Uh, if you want to download Jupyter notebooks, you can just go on the website. It's G U P I T E R. And and you can either try it in the browser it's like uh, you can use it online or you can install the notebook if you click on install you'll have to install anaconda uh, i'll not be going deep into what anaconda distribution is if you want me to i can make another lecture on anaconda itself how to install it you just have to go down here and uh, definitely install the exe file executable file and install it in your computer i hope you can do that and then in the command prompt, you just have to uh, you can just search here Anaconda prompt and click here. And this is the Anaconda prompt. And you can just you just have to write uh, Jupyter notebooks and the notebook will pop up. It's a local host. You'll be using local host as you can see here. So you don't need internet if you install Anaconda. So let's get going. So first of all, it is generally Python. Uh, let me just uh, see here if I just write equal to 5 uh, b equal to 3 and then c equals a plus b and uh, c so yeah it's basically uh, python so before using machine learning algorithms we need to import some libraries and uh, libraries are first of all uh, numpy numpy and uh, so I'm uh, very sorry, it's in your P5 as it be. Uh, you can just import numpy, write numpy all the way, or you can just uh, import it as in P and use a short form. And I'll have to import uh, pandas for data frames as PD. And uh, that's it for now. Uh, okay, yeah, I need the data, so I'll import from a scale, scikit so learn. I'll import uh, data sets. So data sets has a lot of data. We just need ideas for this example. Okay. If you see star here, it's like it is, uh, you know, the kernel is running this code, and you now you can see it's uh, over here. So first of all, I'll import the ideas data with the, with the name of ideas. So ideas equal to uh, data sets. Uh, I just uh, you can just uh, since, since it's an interactive notebook, you can just type tab and uh, you know what. Data sets will load up. Uh, data sets dot load underscore. I if, if I click on, click on tab now, you can see there is a lot of data, but we need IRIS here right here. So I'll just write IRIS and then uh, it's a function, so I'll have to use from brackets. And the IRIS data set has, data set has been loaded. You can just write, see the data set, how it looks. IRIS. And this is the data set. Here, as you saw, we have sepal length, sepal width. Uh, sorry, sepal length, sepal width, petal length, and petal width, and we have 150 of those readings. And uh, now in C here, feature names, sepal length, sepal width, and the The target, target is basically zero means uh, Sedosa, one means Versicola, and two means Virginica. And so this is the array is given to us. We we'll use we we'll use this to predict accuracy. Now since uh, we have the data just convert let us convert the data into uh, okay so for information i'm using shift plus enter to run a cell this is called a cell 
So first of all, I'll use a variable x and convert the data into Panda's data frame. So PD dot data frame. You can see, uh, you can see here. I'm using not even I don't have to write in time Panda's. I can just write PD. So that is your know, advantage of importing Panda's as PD. So Panda's dot data frame. Uh, and RS dot data. So now the iris data has been converted into pandas data frame pandas data frame is nothing but you know excel version of python so if i just write x dot head here so you can see now it has been converted into some kind of a, you know a excel sheet kind of thing with rows, rows here the rows we call as indexes and we have columns here so uh, i don't i want to rename the columns so i'll just use x dot columns uh, equal to I just uh, have copied it, I guess. And then, so I just uh, copy it down and wrap it right in its entire string. So yeah, I, I rename the column into sepal length, sepal width, petal length, and petal width. You can do this. And then if I check x dot head now, so you can see the columns have been renamed. This is how you can do x dot columns equal to, and you can write whatever, you, whatever name you have to write, pass it as a string. Okay, so now we have converted our iris data into Panda's data frame and now we have to run the algorithm. So how can we run the algorithm? First of all, I have to um, import, I have to import uh, k-means. So from a cycle learn the cluster import k-means. Now gaming has been imported and uh, I'll just uh, run gaming now. So if, has, if you tap shift plus tap, you can see your documentation. So you have to pass an argument how many clusters you want. In this, as you know, we want three clusters because we have three kinds of species. So I'll write n underscore clusters equals three. And uh, we have created a gaming algorithm now. And now we want our x data to be passed into the algorithm so for that we have the code a dot fit and x now you can see the k-means has been uh, initiated or it has been uh, you know done with uh, you know, some kind of data you have iterations and clusters doesn't matter what matters is the k-means has been performed now uh, now k-means has been performed on 150 data we want the labels. What kind of label do we have? Like 0, 1, or 2. 0 means sedosa, 1 means vesicular, and virginica for 2. So I'll write A dot. And if I tap tab, A dot labels. And you can see all the labels. So if you remember, uh, we had the data. So first it was 0, then 1. And you can see there is a 2 here. So it means that there is a fault in the algorithm. Uh, no problem, we have one or two differences. We don't want 100% accuracy, obviously. It is not possible so there is a little bit of uh, you know, mismatch and you can see here we have one here 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 so this is a problem in algorithm not exactly problem you know problem can be in the data or algorithm or it can be you know just uh, it's a form of error now we have the labels now we need to plot the labels so for plotting the labels you need a library mathplotlib so first i'll import that library so import Dot lib dot my dot as PLT. If you don't know what these libraries are, you can just comment it down. Uh, I'm very sorry. Plot. You can just write in the comments and I can make another video explaining nicely what these libraries are. For now, we'll just continue with the lecture. So I've imported math.lib and for accuracy score, I will just import. So my scale of metrics import accuracy score. So this uh, accuracy score will let us see how accurate our data is. Now since I have imported matplotlib, I can just write z equals plt dot. Now I need a scatter form. Plt dot scatter, and you have to pass uh, two variables at least, you know, because we have two dimensional data. I will pass three variables x dot. 
सिंपल लिंक लिंक स्टार्ट सिंपल विद कंटेक्स्ट कोड बेटर लेंथ बेसिकली व्हाट इट इज डूइंग इज इट इज इट इज आस्किंग दैट नाउ इट हैज सिंस देयर फोर फीचर्स हियर so a four dimensional array uh, vector has been created wherein all these arrays have been plotted but we need to, we can just see two dimensions so we are giving like in this dimension we have to plot the data and uh, i'll have to pass a color here uh, like three colors basically otherwise uh, everything would be of same color and we won't be able to see the clustering so first of all i'll have to make a color map color map equals in b dot array don't worry if you're not even going to understand anything I can make another video if you want. Just uh, leave it, leave down in the comment whether you want to make me another video over <clears throat> what this NP NP is basically an empire array. So I'm passing three colors in an empire array, <clears throat> and uh, I'll be passing here. So C equals color map, and I'll pass A dot labels in the color map. And I'm very sorry. There's some kind of problem, I guess. Um, there's some other problem is wrong with the format. Okay, just to leave this. Um, the plot has been the plot has been created as you can see, but we cannot see the plot. For that, we need to write uh, you know uh, this code here: matplot matplotlib inline. So if you run this now, you can plot the data easily. As you can see, the data has been plotted. Uh, I it is same color. I'm not. I don't know what, if I'm making a problem in the one moment. Sequence color map color map. Oh, now you can see. I was like I was using uh, curly brackets. I had to use square. I just forgot the. Uh, syntax. I'm very sorry for that. Now you can see we have three different clusters that has been formed, and here we have simple length or simple width, and, uh, based on whatever arguments you passed here. A very beautiful uh, graph we have here. So, if I can, uh, if you just remember, we opened a Wikipedia page, and uh, some similar kind of graph we also saw there. Uh, the letters. A little slow, please excuse me. And now, if you just want to calculate the accuracy, uh, here we have the flower plot, and you can still see the cumulus cumulus algorithm. You can see similar uh, kind of graph here as well, where you have three clusters. The color may vary, uh, red, blue, and green. But if you want to calculate the accuracy, so I can just pass accuracy score uh, a. Uh, so first of all, I pass. I was not target. If you remember, the target had all those uh, actual. The eyes of target contains the actual target of each uh, uh, each reading, each data, and uh, a dot labels is the uh, calculated is what we we got through our algorithm. This is a dot labels. This is a dot labels. So let's see what accuracy we have. And it's 89.33 percent, which is uh, you know decent or even good accuracy score for um, any data. The larger data you have, the more you are accurate. And uh, that's it. This was K-mean clustering. Uh, if you if you like this uh, lecture, please uh, click on thumbs up. If you want if you want me to make uh, more lectures, leave me in the comments. Uh, sorry. Just comment it out, and I can make more. Uh, I can you know 
make more lectures on different algorithms like uh, support vector machines, cable classifier. Oh, yeah,